everybody, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be doing something really, really fun with my boyfriend, Justin, who's Yay. super excited to be here. He loves being in videos, you guys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can reach for a well-worn book to give me an escape. Today we're going to be doing the blindfold book challenge, which I wasn't tagged to do, but I saw Jesse from The Bookish Mom do it, and it looked a lot of fun, so I'm doing it. <laughs> and so basically the gist is Justin's going to pick eight books off of my shelf. I'm gonna be blindfolded and he's gonna to try to describe them to me and I have to guess both the author and the title of the book. I can get half points if I get one or the other or if I get um, like the series title but not the book title, I get points. I have to get 26 points or more to win and if I don't win, he gets to punish me. I don't know if he's thought of a punishment yet so be working on that. <laughs> he's, gonna, he's gonna do it on the spot and that means it's gonna be bad. Probably. <laughs> oh no. Um, so yeah, he's gonna go pick some books and I'm gonna blind myself, uh, blindfold myself with blind this. Yourself. I'm gonna blind myself because I go hard, guys. You know, if you're gonna do it, might as well go all the way. The thing say. It says, time to zzzz. Wow. <laughs> it's a sleep mask, which I've never worn before. Uh, so I'm gonna put the sleep mask on and it's gonna ruin my makeup, so that's gonna be great. And, uh, yeah, and then he's gonna pick books and he's gonna show you guys the books while I try to guess what they are. And hopefully he's good at describing them because I, I didn't even look at my shelves before this. I so we're gonna, we're gonna get this on my face. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Okay, you ready? Mm-hmm. Oh, this is unpleasant already. It's totally gonna squish my makeup. Okay. Books. Go pick some books. You don't- Crack it. This is gonna be fun to edit with all the, uh, the downtime. What? I heard a noise. I said, <laughs> That's the noise. <laughs> it's so dark in here. You have to stay out. You're a bad cat. Throw this cat in the frame. Oh, 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 that's the back end. Because it was trying to escape. Hi, I got a kitty. I can't see. Is it Jack? It's chunky. This is Jasna. She hasn't been in any videos lately. Still has been in a lot of videos. I don't actually know if you guys can see her because she's like in my lap. Hang on. This is Jasna. Wee! Did you want to be part of things? You wanted to help? You good girl? I can't see you. All the mascara melting off my face. He's back. Oh, sad. <laughs> oh, I reached for you and then you're gone. Well, that's sad. That's pretty sad. Ready for books? Okay, you gotta show the book to them. Make sure it's in the frame so I can see. It's in the middle here, all the good parts. Yeah. Where there it goes. Yeah. All right. Okay. Okay, describe it to me. Do you, do you know if it's something I've read? No idea. No idea. I think okay. so. You think so? Okay. What's it look like? <laughs> uh, it's got. A maze. A, ma a maze? It's got a maze and a big melty face guy. Is it one of my two Percy Jackson books? Uh, the something it's like the people are not doing the maze correctly. Battle of the Labyrinth? Is that what it's called? Something yes. Labyrinth? Is that really right? Yep. By Rick Riordan. Yeah! Oh, easy. <laughs> well, the only other book I have with a maze on it is not in this room, and that's Maze Runner. <laughs> so, that I knew had a maze on it. That was easier than I thought it would be. <laughs> All right, I gotta hold it up to the thing. Yes, I started off on a good, I'm so proud, guys. It's hard to get the title and the weirdness on the cover at the same time. What's uh, this one? I don't know what's going on with this person. Okay, there's a person. Kind of like a pirate hat. There's a person with a pirate hat. Pirate hat. And there's a whole bunch of creepy hands trying to grab the pirate hat person. Creepy hands. Yeah, creepy red hands. Red hands? I, I don't think this person is a pirate, but they look like they're dressed like a pirate. And they have some knives. A person Hold with this back knives. up so people can see <laughs> okay. a pirate being grabbed by a spooky red hands. Pirate. I mean, I'm sure this person is not actually a pirate. But, but they look like a pirate. I'm gonna say she, probably? She. So it's not very clear. Kind of looks like. If it's a lady or not. Very cartoony picture. A cartoony picture. Red hands. Yeah, I don't know what all these red hands are about, or why the red hands want to get the pirate lady. Um, knives? Pirates, red hands. You think I've read... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, uh, wait two, a minute. It's four, fucking, six, it's eight, fucking, nine. oh, it's, um... Uh, nine creepy red hands. It's Darker Shade of Magic by Victoria Schwab. It's, uh, which one is it? Is it Darker Shade? Gathering of Shadows, or whatever the third one's called. Gathering of Shadows. Okay! 
She's a pirate lady. How did I not know? She looks like a pirate. She does. No, she, she, you're right. She does. I just couldn't think of her. It's Lila. Lila Bard is such a pirate. I got it! Yay! Oh, I almost gave up on that one! What else close? Probably. This book has a lot. Book. Title, stuff, stuff going on. Uh, this one kind of looks like a steampunk convention threw up on itself. A steampunk convention. I don't know what's going on in the Threw up on itself. It's like a steampunk clock, and then there's a big, creepy steampunk, I'm gonna say horse. Is it the arithmetist? Yes. The arithmetist by Brandon Sanderson. Yeah. See, the last time we did a weird video with you where you had to tell us what books what the books were about, we did arithmetist and you we were talking about the horses. Oh, did I do that? The steampunk horses, yeah. I remember that. It was, a, it was like three years ago. <laughs> it was not on this channel. It was a long time ago. Okay, here's here's one. I feel my eyes melting. I've done I've gotten them all so far, guys. I don't think I'm gonna get punished. You have Fifteen points. I gotta get to 26. You have a perfect score so far. Let's <laughs> see if I can keep it. Okay. This one has a really shitty house. And a car. And a bird. At least one bird. <laughs> a house. At least one bird. A car. It's and a really a shitty house. Bird. It's like an actively shitty house. House. I think there's car. three people in this car. Seems incorrect, but there are three, at least three people in the car. Do you think I've read this one? Yes. You know I've read this and it has three people in a car? A house sure. and a bird? And a car and a bird. Is it the illustrated version of Chamber mm -hmm. of Secrets? Because that would technically have a house, a car, and a bird. <laughs> Does the illustrated Chamber of Secrets have a house on it? Does it? I don't know if the house is in the back or not. Well, it is a Chamber of Secrets. Oh, it's it is? It's not the illustrated <laughs> one. <laughs> That's really funny. It's a really shitty oh. house. I don't think Real Estate Dream Mercy Creek says that. Oh, maybe it does. Yeah, it's over there. I don't actually remember what the covers of my my set that are in here look like. I know that they have the spines with the castle on it, but I don't remember what like the pictures are. Well, it was the house flying by the burrow. The house flying by the burrow? Yeah, the car flying by the burrow. <laughs> the house flew away. Book. Okay. I don't know what's going on here. I'm doing so good. This one will be easy to describe. Okay. There's a... Uh, I don't know what's happening there, but... It's a bunch of people falling out of the air. Just people. people falling out of the air. Is it one of my 100 books? What the 100 day 21? Yep. <laughs> I haven't even read it yet. That was easy. That's because it's from. It's like the promo picture from the TV show. Well, I don't know that. I know that because it's. It was my favorite show until they destroyed it, very recently. Okay, this one. I'm doing so good! Yay! The author of the 100 book. Uh, Cassie Morgan. Cass Morgan. Cass I guess Morgan. Like, okay, this book. I hold this book up again. It's on a new video. It's got like a tagline. Uh, it's got a redhead lady, I guess. It's like an actual picture picture. And a straight up book on fire. Just a, just a book <laughs> I know on this. Fire. Okay, oh God, I don't know the author. This is Spellbook of the Lost and Found. Yup. I only know this because I picked this up and used it for a tag recently. Oh, um, no. God, I could, I don't think I could even guess the author's name. I, I can't, get, I could not tell you the author. I haven't read it, so I do not know the so author's name. Did you get, like, two points for that? Yeah, we'll say two points, you I think. two, you already have points. This one's a little complicated. Okay. Well, there's a person in a fancy red coat, and kind of looks like, there, I need to hold this up so people can understand what I'm talking about here. <laughs> it kind of looks like their Google Maps just went from daytime mode to nighttime mode. There's like a city and then different city, but darker. Or maybe the same city. And the person is like walking from one to the other. Is this another Victoria Schwab Darker Shade of Magic book? Yes. <laughs> is it Conjuring of Light? Or is it darker shade? It's darker shade. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, you said red coat, which is a dead giveaway. Well, that's easy. And then you said walking into a darker city. The whole the whole plot of those books is that there's four different Londons. Well. <laughs> and the main character's whole thing is that he's I got a that very my, special coat. I don't know that my hints are good because I don't know what these books are about. <laughs> I 
It's true. I could have picked more books that I knew stuff about. You should have. You could have got me with some that you know stuff of. Mm-hmm. I'm so good at this. I didn't think I would be. I don't have a lot of books. That's the short lady. Short Let's back up. Short lady. Very short lady. And a person whose face is peeling off. Uh, a lot of spooky peeling off face. Let me get the zoom in on the peeling off face. Face peeling off. Oh, that face peeling off. I have a book with someone's face peeling off. You have some creepy books. Have I read this book? Probably. You think so? Mm-hmm. You don't remember your face peeling off book? <laughs> and a short person? And I assume it's their face. And like a spear? Is that a spear? Spear. Some arrows. The person whose face is peeling off has had a bad day. This one might get me. They seem to be full of arrows. I've read this. Mm-hmm. <sighs> their face. Like a creepy yellow eyeball. Peeling a yellow eyeball? Inside their peeling off face. This really might get me. The short person is not the person whose face is peeling off. So there's two people on the cover, one who has their face melting. Yep, a little bit. A little and bit face melting. there's a short person. Mm -hmm. do, you, is, do you literally mean short person or like a child? Oh, it's a small person. <laughs> I don't know. Oh god, this one might get it's me. A, it's a below average size person. <laughs> this might get me. Their face is peeling off. Sometimes your face peels off because you get hit by at least three arrows and maybe a spear. Oh, I genuinely don't think I can get this one. Oh, I'm gonna give up. What's this one? Those the last ones. You can just take off your blindfold. Oh, okay. Oh. Wow. Okay, I'll have you know. Uh huh. <laughs> That's a below average sized person. <laughs> and that, that person's face is peeling off. Oh, uh. Oh, it's so bright out here. The uh -huh. light, it burns. Wow. I'll have you know, guys, I'm not uh -huh. as familiar with these covers. Uh -huh. I'm not, because the time, most of the times I've read in this point, it was the little mass markets, which actually aren't even in here. If I said blue person, you would have got it. Honestly, I probably wouldn't have. Okay, yeah. guys. Well, I won, didn't I? You got all the points. I got all of them. For eight. But Hero of Ages, that's so sad. So you don't get you to got, punish me. You what got was? 32 points. What was the punishment going to be? I'll, I'll keep it in case you have to make me do another one of these things. I mean, we might. Who knows? You messed up a Sanderson book. I you did. That's pretty... Hero of Ages. I literally was like... Ooh, out of focus. I literally was like thinking and I was like... He's going to get me on something that I should know. And that was the one. Oh, we did it! Here, but... ah. <laughs> We did it, and I didn't lose, everybody! You didn't lose. You got 32 points. I did it. I got 32 points. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I really thought I was going to do bad, guys. I was super nervous. I can't believe I did so you good. You know most of your books. I know most of my like books. Like all these ones down here that you said you haven't read were mostly just words on the cover. That's because those are all the YA books. <laughs> yeah, there wasn't much to do with any of those. That's and good. there's like fucking, like, Aragon books just have a dragon. Yeah, no, you couldn't get me with Aragon. Anyways, we did it! You could... We did it. <laughs> he keeps trying to get out of frame, guys. He's trying to run away. Okay, keep them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm getting squished. Squished. Oh, Thank I you for doing Shut out all the babies. We had a good time. Yeah. You it was won the fun. game. I won. So that was fun. Um, obviously, I wasn't tagged in this video, but I will tag. I don't think uh, Holly from Spoopy Hall. I don't think you've done this yet, so I'm going to tag you. And I'm going to tag Steph from Coffee Over Apples. I and yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody. Remember to like this video and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And we will see you next time. Are you gonna are you gonna come back for more videos? Apparently. <laughs> you love it. Mm-hmm. It's my favorite thing. It's your favorite thing. I'm your favorite thing. A cat visited me. That was pretty neat. Yeah, it's true. Two cats. Do you, you remember the outro? Life before death radiance. Life before death radiance. I did it. <laughs> Yay! Oh.